I have here the HP EliteBook 2570P and today I just wanted to demonstrate how to do a factory restore on this. So that means if you hose your system and you can't get the OS started or you just kind of want to start over again because after a few uh, years that the computer slowed down because of all the junk you put on there, then uh, factory restore is a good option. So first of all, you just have to power it on. So you hit the power button then while it's booting, you hold down the F11 key and here we go, it's going to jump into uh, a bootstrap here where it says Windows is loading files. And once it gets through this process, you're going to come to a screen It's going to give you the option to factory restore the notebook. Um, so, still working here. It's not the fastest thing in the world. Um, and this should work for any Elite book, by the way. It's not just the 2570p. Uh, uh, HP has given the same kind of uh, setup for doing a factory restore for the past few years in Elite Book. So if you had, uh, say, the 8560 or 8460, um, then this would uh, this this would work as well. And as it says here, please wait. So we're waiting. Okay, so here we are. It says it's the HP Recovery Manager Wizard. So you just uh, click Next and it's going to warn you that you're going to lose all your data so if you want to save any of it you should back it up but uh, I don't care today Oop. having trouble checking the box there click next okay so your hard drive is being restored to its factory state so it says it's going to take up to an hour so I'm not going to waste your time by sitting here and uh, taping this entire sequence. So you would just wait till the process is done and you should actually be plugged in to make sure the, the battery doesn't die and then halfway through your system is even more hosed because the factory restore failed. So make sure to plug in and as it says, this, this could take up to an hour, but generally I found it's a little shorter than that.